Hello, friends, and welcome to the season of Lent. Last Wednesday, we remembered Ash Wednesday, when the liturgy says, remember your dust, and to dust you shall return. A few weeks before that, we had moved the baptismal font over here to the side uh, in the old choir transept because we had a funeral, and it hasn't moved back, and now that we have Lent and this beautiful banner reminding us to remember. It seems kind of perfect that we remember our baptism, the beginning of our journey, as well as the end of our journey and our mortality. During this season of Lent, we are all reflective on many things, especially the inward journey. And as Jesus was tempted on Sunday in the gospel, we too deal with those temptations of this earthly life and are made aware of our own sinfulness and brokenness and need to come to the living waters, which are those of the Holy Spirit that baptize and promise us new life and the abundance of God's grace and welcome and forgiveness. So I invite you into the season of Lent in whatever way feels comfortable for you right now. Read the Gospel of Luke. Uh, there are many meditations that we will share and links online where you can watch sermons and listen to podcasts. Uh, we hope you'll join our Wednesday evening series that starts tonight with Amy Jill Levine and Stories of Jesus of uh, delving into the Passion Play in the Thursday morning Bible study with Pastor Don and others, as well as a special concert next week, the 20th of March, Sunday afternoon at 3 o'clock with Ron McFarlane and Carolyn Zurich, which will be a benefit here in the church for our scholarship fund for those that we're able to send to camp and sometimes help through college. So remember you are loved, remember you're part of a faith community that journeys with you in the wilderness. Remember that there are many others driving by that you're here right now that may not have a community. Share these things with them, share your story and invite them to join us, especially for concert. Remember the people of Russia and Ukraine and those who are separated from their families and those in war-torn uh, countries and areas and those who serve our country at home and abroad, as well as the least of these. Uh, remember to continue to be generous in so many different ways that you already are. And I'm grateful and I remember your love and your faithfulness this day with great gratitude in my prayers. Take care and see you soon.